It's the fifth straight NCAA tournament for Xavier, but the first under first-year head coach Chris Mack up against very veteran head coach Tubby Smith. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be alongside MSG Network and Compass Media College basketball insider John Rossine. It's your preview presented by State Farm of the 6-11 matchup in the West region. And John, you know, when you talk about Minnesota and Xavier, the Gophers were playing their best basketball until that last game against Ohio State. Xavier has been playing very good basketball as well. How do you see the initial thoughts of this matchup? Well, it's two teams coming in with great momentum, but at the end of the day it's always been about guard play for Xavier in the NCAA tournament and I think this is going to be the same tune this year. Their two guards, Jordan Crawford and Terrell Holloway, good enough to win a couple of games in the NCAA tournament for the Musketeers. What do those two guys have to do in this game specifically? Control tempo. One thing these two guards have done all year long at a very high level is minimize turnovers. Any team coached by Tubby Smith is going to prey on turnovers to get easy baskets. It's really, really important for both Crawford and Holloway to avoid that. And neither of those guys great three-point shooters. Mm -hmm. Crawford much better than Holloway. You know, getting to the basket's going to be important. But for Minnesota, it's a very long team. Ralph Sampson the third inside. Colton Iverson inside. What type of problem does that present for the Musketeers? Well, the size that Minnesota has, Xavier never saw in the Atlantic 10. It's going to be very important for Minnesota to establish Ralph Sampson III early and often in this basketball team. He is the one player that they are going to be able to lean on to change the complexion of this basketball game. You know, it's funny when you look at Minnesota because all year long you don't think of this being as a high-powered offense. Mm -hmm. It's not something you think of, but they finished second in the Big Ten, only behind Ohio State in scoring. Right. And it was only second because of the fact that Ohio State put up uh, 89 in the championship game. Yep. So, so this is a team that scores and gets it from a lot of different people, but do you think it has to come inside or outside? Which is more important for Minnesota? It has to be in the paint because Xavier is going to be really good on the perimeter, but Minnesota can change the entire complexion of this basketball game if it gets points in the paint early. One thing about Xavier's front line, not very deep. Yep. That could be a factor moving forward if Minnesota gets the ball to Samson the third early and really sets the tone. Love's got to be a big player Mm -hmm. for Xavier in this ballgame. All right, the Musketeers since 2000, eight NCAA tournaments, only twice have they lost in the first round, uh, and both of those were as double-digit seeds. They're not the double-digit seed here. Do you think they suffer the upset to Tubby Smith, or do they move on to the second round? No, Xavier marches on and sets up a rematch in the second round with Pittsburgh, a game we saw in the Sweet 16 last year. And it certainly would be a lot of fun to see that. It's Friday afternoon. It's 1225 Eastern in Milwaukee. And for more, keep it right here with CBSSports.com. And don't forget, sign up for March Madness On Demand, every single game of the NCAA tournament live online for free. MSG Network, Compass Media, College Basketball Insider, John Rossi, and I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.